on Friday last week, the Prime Minister did the televised address on the COVID-19 situation in Thailand. And it's something the country needs right now, something to clear up the air, what's happening in Thailand, when, where are we going and what are we doing? But after the address, there's a lot of criticism about how the Prime Minister communicate the message to the public. So today we have Assistant Professor Dr. Tawida Kamonwe, the Dean of Faculty of Political Science, Thammasat University. She is going to discuss with us about this particular thing, the communication skills of the world leaders. สวัสดีค่ะ. สวัสดีค่ะ. So because we said it's for the world leaders, I don't want to focus just the Prime Minister himself, but before we talk about other leaders, I probably have to ask you, if you have to grade his speech on Friday, let's 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 not uh, do the whole thing for the past. Uh, actually, if you have me refer to the past, that would give him some score. But when you say that it's only <laughs> Friday, <laughs> the score would be really like, I, okay, uh, from what? From one to ten? I would have or given maybe him like uh like the A B C D E A F system. A How about B, that? C. Oh my system. God! You are asking a university professor to grade A B C D, and I cannot even give him a C because that would go to average. So it's a little bit below then. <laughs> that, right. That's too harsh. Uh, only Friday though. Only Friday. Only this Friday. That that um. Uh, to, to be fair, to be to be fair, this this grade has a lot to do with expectation too, and the situation around him. If the situation is not this serious, th this is we are getting into a very serious situation, and the government hasn't been very clear and communicate very well for the past several days. So you really need a hit on. You really need a very strong and um, what can I say? You, you need a a leaders that come out not only strong but to create confidence and very uh, showing his empathy on on every situation in real life making sense of it what's going on so uh, it's going to be really hard on my grade on him on that friday okay, but so if you have to compare other world leaders so let's say these leaders are in your effective communication class if you have to compare the prime minister with other world leaders such as new zealand singapore germany who would be the top of your class in terms of their communication during this type of crisis oh uh, definitely i i pretty much um it, it's not because I am also a woman, no. But yes, of course, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, the same as uh, people around the world that witness. I like, um, I like the way um, Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda, that, that, is, uh, that is very strong yet, mother-like. So basically, you were right. talking about also comforting and caring, as well as the message have to be strong. The measure has to be very strict. So, so that come out very naturally, especially uh, related to her personality. However, it doesn't mean that the other leaders pretty much like Merkel of Germany, uh, Shai Ing-wen of Taiwan, or even Lee Sien Lung of Singapore. But those three people, even though we pretty much don't talk in everything in terms of communication as a communicator, but then the message itself of these uh, three leaders also kind of like choreograph, I, what can I say? The message fit with their personality. Merkel okay. come out very strong, short message, and then keep everyone pretty much in line. Lee Sin Lung coming out with a very like uncle-like and very loose, very easygoing and creating nationalism pretty much coming together. So Chai Ying Wen, she doesn't speak much though, but she spoke throughout her practice and activity that she went around and do things and she really speak through what she made and get things done. And she did it very well. So the different way of communication is actually effective to me too. So for what the about the different way of the communication, talk about different way of communication, there must be some strong point of Thai Prime Minister uh, communication skills, right? Yes, there 
is a few. <laughs> um, first of all, first of all, you, you have to, okay, given that he, he is a military for all, the, all, all his life. So what, what's already in him as a characteristic, as a personality is, he's very, um, come out very strong in his personality and everyone knows how straightforward he could be. So that's, that's personality, it is very natural. However, it has to be under a very cool control of emotion. So basically his personality already can speak what message that is really straightforward. But that right. can be also an advantage of what his personality create. As well as, you know, he also have a lot of people loving him. And with that kind of loving him, cheering him up on his side, they already view him that he is a hard worker and he showed that he, he sighed a lot on that Friday, though, but actually big sigh. And um, people kind of like pay sympathy. People know he works hard. So people open-minded, actually open their heart and willing to absorb anything that he's already gonna say to them. If the message is really solid and informative enough, that's well said. So, so he has advantage too. So what areas can the Prime Minister improve for the next briefing? But I'm pretty sure you think there's got to be a lot of areas that he can improve. I think his attention to start with. I think on, especially on Friday, the attention and intention of the Prime Minister is a little off trail. He's actually you know, on Friday, the nation is waiting for pretty much only one message. What would be next in the future, especially vaccine, especially the situation of this outbreak and everything, whether or not going to be under control, is it going to be deceiving? And then when the vaccine will be distributed, how many vaccines are going to come in and whether or not private sector can actually jump on it and how long would that be? How long would the wait would be? So basically, if you're asking me, his attention and intention on that Friday supposed to be communicating, talking to the people. Uh, it's pretty much to me that on Friday, more than 50% of the message is actually talking back to people who criticize, talking back right. to people who raised the question. It's not a time to do in such a way. You can answer a question with a very informative answer that you have to analyze what's the atmosphere and what the people are looking for. And then solving the criticism, ease up the criticism together with a very good, significant, hit on the heart of the people, kind of informative conversation. That's what the attention and intention and focus of the leader supposed to be on that Friday. So if you ask me next time, regardless, his, um, emotion and tiredness I, I i actually understand that one all the leaders actually really tired but then i think he has to focus on that he's communicating to the uh, the whole nation and he needs right. them to be united they are tired as well and it's been a long time that they're fighting on this one so he has to speak to their heart that what can be done from the government side? What can be the enforcement that's strictly done? What would be the work that the government would nurture and not in a way that have people just like participate, joining, united, but you ha you got to tell them what would be the next step and to make sure that happens to, to, to them very soon. So I, I think that the only point that I may ask, that's the only point. So, sound like he already has a good base of course, he have a lot of supporters. He have a big, big uh, pool of supporters. His people feel that he is straightforward and uh, he is assertive. So he already has some good thing to start with. So what he needs to do sound like from what you said that he should just brush off the criticism and straight to the point to answer the question. Yes, uh, because, you know, um, to the person that has a very strong personality and very straightforward, in this kind of situation, you don't only need strength, you, you don't only need like straightforward and clear information, you also need to understand what's going on. And you really need to make sense of every segment in the society. And to be able to convince them to participate, you have to also give them what is actually your hard work that you lead on. It's, it's a really 
thin line, slightly different between complaining, babbling about the hard work, or telling them that hard work that we work together would lead us to where, and what would be the next step that we go together. Make it sound like that and make sure it happened too. You know, communications is always the last mile. The most important thing is what exactly is the team backstage? What exactly a coordination to measure that is actually being designed and then understand that that design will be delivered to every segment of the society, then tell them that. I think that's right. pretty much what I think um, would be a, a big step to, to move on. Right. And recently, there's a statement from a political science expert from Uban Rashtani University who actually said that the government lost the chance of showing people it can do better because it always think that what it has done is the best for the country. So in your perspective, how much do you agree with this statement? Um, I agree with this statement that they actually lost the, the chance uh, every time that, you know, in crisis, in crisis, momentum is really the important thing too, because momentum create what we call synergy, which you really want the society to react and then be united to actually change the behavior and help the nation. So the momentum when people are awake for something to happen, you got to have it. And then because of that, if you if you think that losing losing the moment, losing the chance to actually make things better, I would have said yes, but the only thing that I think they have lost from time to time is, you know, we we did our best. I I I still have my hope on that one. That every government would do things good to the people. I I still have that hope, and I think a lot of people are really tired and work hard toward the best thing that they can. But in crisis, it's always something that actually you miss. It's always because in crisis it's going to be difficult. So you have to think ahead. Then as much as you think ahead based on the data and analysis and listening to everyone and come out and waiting those um, measures that you have alternatives that you have. But then when you make decision, it would be a problem. It would be a source. Learn from this mistake really quick and don't just do it again. Basically, you can say that you did your best, but you can also you have to know what you miss and then communicate that to oh. In this part, we really work hard together to achieve in this thing. However, we still have lack of something which the government has to actually work harder on that. And we call for the nation to help us too because we are at our workload at this time. It's not going to hurt telling the nation, telling everyone that the best that we did, it still have something that we still miss and then grab that, grab that fall, grab that error and then correct it as soon as we can. I don't think anyone would mind on that thing, but don't, don't believe that that's the best you can. Because right. I think the government is also lack of foresighting what would be the next negative impact. That, that one is already we catching up. We are not ahead of time. So um, yeah, we did our best at time, but we still have a lot to improve. So just, just say that and then, and then let everyone else calling for the help and, and cooperation together and get things done.